Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm going to split part of the presentation on the, on the Portuguese roadmap. It took me a while to, until I could decide how to start. So I decided to start with a photo to tease a bit the audience. This, is the, this was taken in 1958, and it was the inauguration of the first Cobalt 60 unit in the Oncology Institute of Lisbon. And the gentleman that is wearing the lab coat is a physicist, and he was one of the pioneers of radiation physics. In fact, if we go back in time, in the 1950s, radiation physics existed only at the Oncology Institute in Lisbon not only because they were apply using radiation to treat patients, but also that because they had the only research center on, uh, on, on, radiation, on radiation physics. So Antonio Batista, the guy there in the center, he was a part of a very select group that uh, worked for some years with Professor Palacios. That was a man that was... Uh, in exile in Portugal because Franco did not really like him in Spain, so he came to exile in Portugal to our benefit. And the people he trained, they were really the pioneers that then took um, research in radiation physics and chemistry and so on to all the universities, to what became later on the state laboratory where I used to work and so on. So, a bit back, well, now we go to our time. So, the, the network that we have in Portugal has about 60 linear accelerators and about 68 brachytherapy units that are in public and also in some private units. Already some four years ago, when this network was evaluated, it was considered that, was, that there was already room for uh, one proton therapy unit in the national health system. And this was one idea that, that Gaspar actively promoted. And it's actually well within the title that Mario has chosen for this tribute of particle physics from fundamental science to society. So um, Gaspar can, could be quite, quite uh, insistent as, as you all remember for sure. So there was finally a working group established by the Minister for Health and the Minister for Science. Uh, and the group was chaired by both Gaspar and João Oliveira, the president of IP of the Oncology Institute that will speak uh, just after me. So this slide now became obsolete because the previous two speakers already have shown how much the number of patients that they have been treated, or in this case, the number of facilities, how it has been increasing almost exponentially in the last years. The working group for Portugal was charged by this, by the, this ministerial order to, to, to address all these issues, like how many, what would, what should be our initial target of uh, patients to treat, what, uh, what clinical support the operation would need, uh, what support for R&D activities, and what would be necessary to develop an effective national network which could address not only health care but research and training. So put these three slices of the cake always together, research, training, and Healthcare, and then to uh, determine what would be the required conditions, namely to stimulate the scientific and technical cooperation, and also the required resources. So, the the working group uh, has done some work, and in 2018 there was a resolution of the Council of Ministers that already. Um, brought uh, some, some of the guidelines that had been developed or recommended by the working group. Namely, that we would have one initial unit integrated in the national health system. So our dream, we are biased. We want 
the criteria to be used to treat or not treat a patient to be strictly medical, not because they have or don't have a good uh, health insurance. So we would like a unit to be available in the national health system. And the initial capacity that we are planning would be of the order of 700 patients per year. So the, the decision in principle is to have the first unit in, the, uh, in what used to be the Laboratory for Nuclear Physics and Engineering in Sakavai to take advantage of the research and human infrastructure that already exists, namely in radiation protection and so on. This, the f next bullet is the most difficult one, financing conditions to be agreed, okay? Uh, nevertheless, FCT, the Science Foundation, already has 10 million allocated for training of researchers and physicians, 10 million for a period of five, six years. And the other decision of the Council of Ministers was to authorize the Science Foundation and the Oncology Institutes and other hospitals that are involved in cancer treatment, namely the ones that are associated with, uh, with the faculties of medicine, to create a not-for-profit association that would be in charge to install and operate the first proton therapy unit. So um, I was actually lucky with the pictures because no, none of the previous speakers have shown exactly this type of pictures. These are two of the possible layouts. Uh, the one on the left is from IBA, the one on the right from Varian. Um, one cannot actually grasp the scale. The, the side of the building can be 80 to 100 meters. So when Frederick was mentioning that the future facilities should have a footprint of 1,000 square meters, that would mean roughly one quarter of this. So it would be really a strong reduction. But this is the technology that we have available commercially today. We just need to find the money to implement it. Without Gaspar, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because it could be quite persuasive, but I'm sure we we learned a few tricks with him as well. So now I would pass the floor to João Oliveira. <laughs> 